What up guys, today I've got this package from Speedcube Shop and uh, it's got some cool new cubes in it, so let's check it out. Okay, I definitely need to get a new karambit, this one is quite dull. Anyway, um, some of these cubes are actually kind of old because I don't know why it took like a month for this to arrive um, through USPS, which is United States Postal Service. It's apparently really slow right now. And I'm also in Canada, which is probably why it was so slow. But anyway, we've got the MGC Elite 2x2 here. This is the uh, Lego Cube. It's not actually called Lego because it's not actually Lego, but it's made by Fanshin. Oh, right, and then we have this YJ timer that I'm really excited to try out. And in here is the YJ MGC 4x4 Elite. And then we have some Speedcube Shop logos because I need to re-logo a lot of my cubes. Oh, and then here is a Chi 3x3x2. I've been wanting to try this, and I finally have it. People are saying it's a really fun cube to play with, so let's check it out. Alright, so in the box, you get nothing but the cube and the tiles that you can put on it. it it's okay, like it could... Kind of hurts my hands, not gonna lie, it feels weird. Yeah, it's got a really blocky, basic, very basic cube design. I had to go get some lunar lube because while I have it open, I might as well lube it with some lunar. It literally doesn't come lubed at all whatsoever. There's so much friction from the lack of lube, it, it just gets stuck inside and it doesn't corner cut very well. But now it's just, it's smooth, it's gliding. So I'm pretty sure that these pieces are compatible with actual Lego pieces. Uh, I don't really have a lot of Lego pieces. I never played with Lego growing up as a child. It's fine. I'm okay that I didn't get to play with Legos growing up. But anyway, let's continue to sticker this up. Alright, finally, it's all tiled and ready to go. After lubing it, it turns really nicely. The only thing is, it doesn't reverse corner cut like what whatsoever it's like a rubik's cube at the a rubik's brand cube at that point so we'll try out the yj timer after i unbox these cubes because then we can actually speed solve them interesting box what okay cool it's just got like one corner <laughs> that's not useful to me at all cool so inside the box we got the cube we got some box full of springs and interesting a really cool looking screwdriver by yj oh also we have we also have magnets, spare magnets. I'm guessing these are different spring strengths. All right, here it is, the YJ MGC Elite 2x2. Is it the Elite? I'm just gonna call it the Elite. The turning is quite nice. It's very smooth and it's got a slight butteriness to it, but not, it's not super buttery. It's just, so yeah, overall, uh, pretty cool 2x2. Let's do a quick solve. I actually really like the turning on this. It's quite fluid, it's not locking up or anything. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should have opened the YJ timer first so I could time all of these solves, uh, but oh well. Whoa. Cool. Not a very good solve, but we will actually do some solves on this after we unbox the YJ timer. On to the YJ MGC Elite 4x4. Yeah, the box, like it's a cool design, but why does it have to be so confusing? Like to slide the sleeve off first and then this okay it's cool same idea with this your YJ screwdriver you got one set of no you have two sets of strings the other one's over here and then you have extra magnets as well and you got the two different magnet sizes one for the inner layers one for the outer layers pretty good like actually really good Whoa, a pop. Okay. <laughs> Usually 4F4s don't pop, at least my Moyu ones never pop. The inner layer magnets feel a bit stronger. Outer layer magnets don't feel as strong, but they're like moderate strength, I'd say like medium strength. They're not too strong. I'm doing just basic turns on this so far. It feels really nice. Real quick, let's just open up this QJ or what QJ Chi 3x3x2. I actually haven't solved a cuboid in a really long time. 
I learned how to solve a 3x3x2, which is also, fun fact, called a domino cube. So if anybody says that, now you know. Anyway, let's try and solve this. So pretty much gonna get the cross. Did that wrong. Did that wrong again. Okay, cross done. So, wait, what? Oh, okay, cool, got that. Oh, there it is. Cool, I got it. Um, all right, so first layer done. Six months later. I confess, I can't solve this. I forget the algorithms. It's been like five years since I've touched a three by three by two. So this is as far as I can get first layer done. I guess we'll leave it. Not, I don't really care that much anyway. So let's try out the YJ timer. Finally, it looks very nice and it serves a pretty good purpose as well. Oh cool, it comes with a wrist strap too. Here's some uh, some stuff that I can't read, so we'll just toss that out. Oh, it needs batteries, doesn't it? Oh man, I don't know if I have AAA batteries. All right, so I finally found some AAA batteries. I had to steal them out of a TV remote. But I think it would have been cool if they added a rechargeable battery. That would have been next level with something like this. Whoa, makes a noise. So that was the on button, I'm guessing. Oh, it's working. That's really obnoxious. So you put, cool, it works. So, ba stop. So basically how it works is it's got these IR receivers and transmitters on both sides, sending out an infrared signal um, continuously and receiving it back because as soon as you put an object in front of it, the signal goes and it reflects back so the receiver will pick it up. Put my hands here, you see the light start in the middle of the timer. It's very faint, but you can kind of see it in person. I'm not really sure if the camera is picking it up. I've already forgotten my solution because I've been holding my hands here for so long. Anyway, let's see if I can figure out what was I gonna do. Right, um... Okay, it didn't stop. My hands are too far away. I always do that. So that's one thing I have to remember. Keep my hands close. Oh no, corner twist. The display on this timer is pretty cool. It doesn't, like the entire timer is actually has this cool, like slightly rubberized matte plastic finish. The the screen as well, for the for the time, it's not like this ugly, like shiny LED strip or whatever. It's It actually looks pretty nice. It also has these rubberized feet on the bottom so that it doesn't slide around very much. I really like this and it comes in a couple of other colors as well. I think blue and yellow, but I just wanted to go with the gray because I think it looks pretty clean. But yeah, it's pretty great for if you want to practice using your hands to start a timer. If you're going into a competition or something, then this is great for that and you don't want to spend like 20, 30 or however much an actual full speed stacks timer costs. So before I solve this, I want to take a quick second to plug my discount code. So if you go to speakershop.com at checkout, you can use code paradox and it will give you a discount and it'll also show your support for my channel. I don't actually get any money from it or anything. It just shows Speakeep Shop that my channel is uh, benefiting Speakeep Shop and it's helping them. So yeah, if you're, you're gonna be checking out at speakeepshop.com, make sure to use code Paradox. It would help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. All right, let's just see how this goes. Like, I don't think I'm gonna do very well. Um, wow, it's actually kind of hard to recognize. The orange and green, you can definitely get mixed up because like, of how the shades are but the rest of the shades look pretty nice. Oh no, stop, stop, 24 seconds, not good. That's like 10, that's like twice as much as my normal time. Well, this layer feels super weird. Okay, that's weird. All right, I was like, why does this layer feel so loose? And then boom, this entire just layer just pops off, okay? Let me just. I'll, I'll leave this for later, I'll figure it out. Anyway, what a way to end this video. You can check out all of these from Speakeep Shop, I'll leave a link to their store in the description. And remember to use my code to help me out. 
Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.